Hi guys, two days ago our living room TV died. It displayed only vertical lines like this. The lines width and color changed depending on the menu selected. Here's the model number. It's a Samsung UN55. KS8000. It's a 55-inch LED smart TV manufactured in August 2016. There are many videos on how to open the screwless back cover. This model, however, has four screws right at the bottom of the panel. Since I had these cycle tire removal tool made of plastic, I used them and it worked out well without breaking any press fit tabs. Here's a clip of the back cover removed. I checked the ribbon cables for any discoloration and other anomalies, but none found. There are only two boards in this model. One is the power board and the other uh, is the motherboard on the left side. You need to remove the power switch like so. Then. Pull out the speaker module and rest it on top as seen in this clip. Right at the bottom, we have this long metal strip covering the LED circuitry. Unscrew that and also remove the metal leg holders on either side. On the left side, R043 and R044 were heating up. And as can be seen, heat has definitely done its damage. R043 tested OK at about 51 ohms, but R044 was open. And this is on the left side. Also on the right side, and once again, as can be seen, heat had done its damage. Even this side, R043 tested OK at about 51 ohms, but R044 was open. Because of the current COVID lockdown, there was a delay in getting new replacement SMD resistors. Also, the SMD, uh, SMD heat gun did not arrive in time. I used a regular soldering iron to unsolder the open resistor R044 on the left side. Did likewise on the right side as well, unsoldered R044. As I wanted to complete the repair work in a hurry, I used a through hole 100 ohm quarter watt resistor which was available in my junk box at R044. Here on the left side, I was not careful enough and screwed up one of the pads while uh, you know, soldering. Use caution and be gentle and use the correct heat. The same way I soldered a through hole 100 ohm uh, quarter watt resistor at R044 on the right side as well. I covered the new resistors with Kapton tape like so as can be seen here in this picture. Left and right. Interestingly, D005 TVS diode array pin 4 showed a direct shot to R044 on the left side. On the right side, it was again D005 TVS diode array pin 4 uh, showing uh, about 160 ohm resistance to R044. Instead of waiting for the SMD hot air gun, I used a soldering iron to desolder the TVS array D005 on the left side. Did the same on the right side as well. Now the TV is working well, good picture and no vertical lines. Hope this helps someone out there having similar issues. Thank you for watching.